G'day, Ray here from Pitwater Mowing. Today I'm going to show you how I replace the blades on my lawnmower. I use genuine Honda blades. I actually, it comes in a kit with the new bolts and springs. Yeah, so I replaced the bolts, springs, and all four blades. I, the four blades are, there's two a high lift and two a low lift. And that's the best combination if you're mulching and then occasionally catching as well with the bag. So it's a multi-purpose setup. You can, if you're just catching grass all the time, you can just put four high lift blades on. That gives the, look, the mower a lot more vacuum and really sucks everything up. And then if you're mulching all the time and not bagging at all, not catching the grass, you can just have low lift blades so you don't need as much vacuum created. Anyway, this is how I do it. Cheers. These Ryobi rattle guns are great. I unplug the spark plug for starters. Flip the mower over. Here's the blades underneath. I'm just going to give it a quick blow. Yeah, these rattle guns are really good. This is a Ryobi 18 volt rattle gun. Makes five. I'm just removing the whole disc here. That's a 14 mil bolt. These Honda kits are good. Just comes with everything in the kit, all your bolts, spring washers. There's the difference, you can see the worn blade, how worn that is, that's about a month old. These nuts here, the nut is 17 millimetre. Just here giving it a little clean up, a bit of a scrape, just getting all the muck off. Sort of do that on both sides where the blades are attached onto the disc. Just giving it a good scrape there before I fit the new ones. Yeah, so the bolt comes through the hole, then the spring washer goes on and that goes through the disc then you have your washer there and then the nut goes on and just rattle gun it nice and tight These Ryobi tools are great. I've had this Ryobi rattle gun for at least five years and it's never missed a beat. Very handy to have, you know, to leave an undo wheel nuts on your trailer or your car. Great little tool. As you can see here, there's four blades. You have two high lift and two low lift. And these are swing back blades, they're called. So if you do hit anything hard while you're mowing, the blade will swing back from the disc so it can protect the motor. Some models of mowers just have one big bar underneath now you know this system I prefer the swing back blades with the standard threads it's um Righty tidy and lefty loosey time to do.
Yeah, just giving it a little good clean up there. Just got a little bit of gunk off. It's amazing what does get built up on there. Basically, it. that's the four new blades fitted to the carrier disc. Now we'll just put the disc back onto the crank of the mower. Just looking for the 14 mil bolt there. And then we'll rattle that, rattle gun that up nice and tight. Not too tight. You just sort of, you know, just tight enough. Just make sure all the blades are sort of can swing, see how they move like that. And I think we're ready to go. All done. And don't forget to put the spark plug lead back on the spark plug and we're set to go. All done. <laughs>